What's going on guys? So today we're looking at the Mora Chisel Knife, which this is one that may not be familiar to a lot of the viewers here, and this is going to be a very key item for a lot of woodworkers or anyone who has a more construction area of focus. So this is a knife that is made by the Mora Knife Company from Sweden, very similar to the Bushcraft Knife that everyone knows and loves. It's 13 to 15 bucks depending on which one you go with. Pretty much the exact same sheath that everyone's familiar with. But the difference is, this one's a very short blade with a chisel grind, and it's actually going to be ground in two sides only. So it has a flat edge on one side, basically to be used as a knife, and then the tip is a completely 90 degree square edge. And again, both sides, as you can sure you can notice from the side, is only ground on one side, exactly the same as a chisel. So this makes this extremely useful if you are doing any kind of woodworking, construction use, or pretty much any heavy utility you want to use it for. Now, if you compare this to a standard chisel, using this one right here, the grind is very similar on the tip. Backside is completely flat on both. The difference is, if you look at the side profile, this is going to be a very heavy taper. It's not going to be sharp at all versus the more where it is actually usable as a knife on the side. Now, that's going to be very useful in a couple situations. If you are actually using it as a chisel, you do have that push, and you can get a lot of material off very quickly. And by the opposite of the spectrum, you can actually use it like a standard knife and carve it. Now, that's just if you're using it on wood in particular. If you are using it on plastics, it actually does cut extremely well because where you do have that nice hard taper to the point, if I can get that to focus here, you have a very razor sharp pinpoint edge that if you're going through a plastic, it cuts through these hard shell cases like nothing. So it actually works very well for opening boxes, things like that as well. And so far it has held up a very good edge. Now, admittedly, I've only owned this for maybe a week now, and so far I've been very impressed, so much so that this has ended up a permanent location in my toolbox, and it's actually received a lot of use so far. Now, as far as edge retention, this is the standard high carbon steel from Mora. Um, now, that should hold an edge very well, especially given the point that it is a chisel grind, so it's not going to be a very weak edged um, profile here, and it's going to hold up very well. Now, as everyone's typically going to be useful, everyone's going to be typically used to on the mores in general, the back of the spine where it's 90 degrees square is not actually well refined. It is a very rough, coarse ground. Now, for me personally, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'm not going to be using this in the woods. I'm not going to be using this to strike a ferro rod. And really, there's no advantage from a functional standpoint to have that perfectly cleaned up. And that's one of the things that they note as a advantage to their customers because it does decrease the cost. Now as far as the sheath, this is what everyone's used to. It does have a good uh, belt clip on the back side here and it does have these unusual clips down on the back here on both the front and the back side that'll actually latch onto one another. So in theory if you had two more you can hook one onto the next. From my understanding I've heard there's actually some clothing that has this type of connection point on it and you'd actually be able to connect this into that. I've never seen it, haven't actually looked into it very heavily, but that's what I've heard. So take that piece with a grain of salt. But as far as the retention of the sheath, it does hold in there very well. I'm loosely shaking in here, it's not coming out. But two fingers, it pops right out without an issue. And the good thing is it does have the drain hole at the bottom. Again, if I can get this to focus, you can see if you were using this outdoors in the wet environment, it's not gonna hold any moisture in there. It is going to drain out, so it's not gonna corrode the knife. Because again, where this is a high carbon steel, it is going to rust if you let it get moist. Uh, I've heard there's other versions of this that are available in stainless. Again, I have not confirmed this to be true, but it's something to look at if you are going to be using it outside primarily. Now for me, this is going to be pretty much indoor use for the most part, or if I am using it outdoors, it'll be brought in right after. I can easily just wipe it down. If you are worried about corrosion, this isn't going to be a situation where you could really have to worry about it that much. You could easily just throw some WD-40 on it or whatever your favorite knife lube or wax would be to make sure your knives don't rust for any other high carbon steel. In my experience, I've even used chapstick and it works perfectly for it. Now, the one disadvantage that I will say about this is it's not a full tang knife. So it does have this hard plastic pummel at the end here. So in theory, 
you can get away with a little bit of light striking to it. It's not really ideal for it, but it will work. And you can get a nice good bite there, and it's not going to actually crack out on you too quickly. Now, that said, if you're hitting with this thing with a framing hammer all day, you're probably going to break through a handle within a few weeks. But if you are going that heavy use, you may want to get a full tang wood chisel that actually has a striking cap on it. But for generalist use, that is going to be sufficient for 99% of people using this thing. So it can take some light abuse, but it's not going to be designed for repeat heavy hitting with a steel hammer. So keep that in mind and let me know what you guys think. Is this something you would actually use? Would you use it in the wood shop or would you really just not find much of a utility at all for it? Where it's more, less geared towards the EDC crowd, the bush crafters, and more geared towards actual construction use, woodworking, things like that. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.